Shopify for musicians. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over Shopify and how you can use Shopify as a musician and if it is the right e-commerce choice for you. So let's get into it. Now, if you want to start off with Shopify, make sure to click that link in the description box down below to get started with Shopify today. So first off, I'm just going to go on to my account and you can see over here that I have a basic trial subscription on Shopify and as a musician, there is a lot you can do with Shopify. So first off, not only can you book your gigs, um, determine your overall concert um, timings, gigs and all that you can also uh, sell individual gigs so you can set out times that you uh, are performing on and you can set out different price rates for your performances so as a musician i find this to be very helpful because i have been providing some other services that are similar to music and using shopify is a lot easier to uh, manage all of that stuff in one place so for that what you're going to do is first off on shopify on your left you're going to find your home page orders products and all that and what you're going to do is you're going to go into the product section over here and once you have gone into your product section you're going to click on add product and you might be wondering i'm a musician i don't have any products well your products are actually going to be like a one hour birthday gig birthday performance and then you can add a description of what songs you perform on birthday performances. You can add a short clip of your performance or picture of your performance and you're going to add the price. So maybe I'm charging our $40 for hourly birthday performance. And then what I can do is I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to make sure to change this to not a physical product. And then once I have done that, I'm also going to remove the track quantity section. And on your right side, you can find that you have your product types and all that. You can usually leave this empty. It's not really that important to fill that out. But then you're just going to click on save over here. And now you have added your first service. So as a musician, this is one of your basic services. Now, after that, you're going to add your second service. So if I go into the product section, now I have this singular uh, service. I'm going to click on add product over here. And then I'm going to add another service. So let's say I do a 30-minute uh, nightclub gig. And then I'm just going to add any description that I want for it. And then I would add my price for that, which would also be... Um, $50 maybe and then I am just going to scroll down I'm going to remove the track quantity and shipping section and now I'm just going to click on save over here and now I have added this gig as well now once you have created your gigs or the services that you're providing as a musician now you can provide any other service that you have that's totally up to you after you have added those you're actually going to go on to your online store on your left over here and over here, you're actually going to create your website or your e-commerce page front to sell your services as a musician. So what you're going to do is scroll down. You can see the theme library over here and you're just going to click on explore free themes. And once you have done that, you're just going to select a theme that you like. So I'm just going to see which one I like. And this one seems pretty good. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to click on add to theme library and I'm going to wait for this theme to be loaded onto my dashboard. Once it has been loaded onto my dashboard, I'm just going to customize it according to my own needs. So I'm just going to click on customize over here and I'm going to start customizing the empty template that I have. So obviously on your left side over here, you're going to find that there are many different sections and you can remove sections as well. So don't worry about that. If the theme has like a bunch of sections that you don't need, you can easily just remove them and you're just going to click on the section you want to remove and then you're just going to click on remove section at the bottom left over here and this is how you can remove uh, sections from your template. So if there are too many sections and I don't want a separate slideshow, so I'm just going to remove this section as well. And now what I just want is a basic um, looking website so what i'm going to do is i've removed all the excess sections and now i'm going to change the headings to um bookings and gigs and i'm just gonna save this heading and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a collection maybe so i'm just going to click on create collection and then it could be a collection of several products all together so Let's say I have um, New Year's discount 
or New Year's gigs. And I would add like 30 minute per gig, something like that. And I'm just gonna save this. And now I'm gonna go back into my Shopify website editor. And now obviously you can start adding your products from directly from the product section over here on your dashboard, or you can do it individually from over here as well. Now you might be wondering, how do you change the uh, overall name of your store? Because this is like the name that I have signed up. You don't want this to be your store name. So don't worry about that. Once you have uh, done your website editing, you're just going to click on save over here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click on publish. And then I'm just going to click on publish over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my dashboard or you can just go into your dashboard from here. You're going to scroll down and you're going to find at the bottom left, you have your settings. Now you're just going to click on settings over here. And then you're just going to click on basic information on your store details. Then you have your basic information and then you're just going to click on edit over here and you can change the store name from here. So if I want my store name to be um, Lolita music or Sarah's music. So Sarah, Rodriguez music like this something like this then I would just save this now I have saved this new name for my store and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into my basic dashboard I'm going to close my settings tab I'm going to go into my online store and I can just click on view store over here and now you can see the name of my store has been changed so it's Sarah Rodriguez music instead of just being the automatic name that I had already saved with so this is how simple and easy it is to start selling your services on Shopify as a musician. So I would definitely recommend that you check out the link in the description box down below for you to get started with creating your own e-commerce store for your music or anything else using Shopify. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video